in order to get a feel for the solution of a system of differential equations, we always like to draw its phase space. In case of a defective matrix A, drawing this phase space is a bit more complicated. We do not have enough independent eigenvectors to make a nice figure, so we have to be a bit more, so we have to be a bit more creative. And that is what we will be in this video. We will draw the phase space of a linear system of differential equations with a defective A. Oh, we are going again. That's it. Do my. Yeah, do my. 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 Wij beginnen in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. In order to get a feel for the solution of a system of differential equations, we always like to draw its phase space. In case of a defective matrix A, drawing this phase space is a bit more complicated. We do not have enough independent eigenvectors to make a nice figure, so we have to be a bit more creative. And that is what we will be in this video, where we will draw the phase space of a linear system of differential equations with a defective A. So we'll take a look at the following uh, system of differential equations. x prime equals ax with this matrix A. And we have seen earlier that this A is similar to this JCF over here with this matrix P. So we have done all this algebra before. We will now focus on the phase space. So what were our solutions? Uh, we could uh, move to the y uh, coordinate y prime equals gcf times y. Then we have the solution over here. And we can also express this in our original uh, x. x equals p times y equals p times the matrix here times p inverse x0. So that is what we have done before. Now we are going to uh, draw the phase space first for y1 and y2, and then for x1 and x2. So what do we have uh, in the case where we are, if you're looking at the problem y prime equals gcf times y? Well, we have one eigenvector in this case, v1 equals e1. And now we are going to look at the signs of y1 prime and y2 prime. So y2 prime equals 3 times y2. So if y2 is positive, my y2 prime is always positive. So if I'm above, I'm always going up. If I'm below, I'm always going down. Then we have y1 prime equals 3 times y1 uh, plus y2. So if y2 is above minus 3 y1, so, uh, then my y1 prime is positive. And if my y2 is below minus 3 times y1, my y1 prime is negative. And uh, finally, if, uh, if we are equal, uh, and if uh, y2 is uh, positive, then we go up. So with this information, we can draw the phase space. So what do we do? We draw the, draw the E1, which is uh, just over here. It's an, uh, and we are going outward. Then we draw the line y2 equals minus 3 times y1, which is over here. So if we are on the line, we go up if y2 is positive and we go down if y2 is negative so those are those two arrows and uh, finally if we are above this line we go to the right that's this this arrow and if we are below we go to the left that's this and in this way we have the full phase space you see for example if we would start to say somewhere over here we make a movement like that and if you would start, say, somewhere like here, you're moving like that. So this gives us the full phase space uh, of the problem y prime equals gcf times y. Now, uh, also I have to uh, be a bit creative if we look at the problem x prime equals a times x with this matrix a over here. That's the original problem. We have one eigenvector, 3, 4. So if we start on the eigenvector, we remain on that factor. Uh, we do a similar trick. Uh, uh, f first we look, when do we have x1 prime equals 0? Well, x1 prime equals minus 9x1 plus 9 times x2, so that is equal to 0 
if uh, x2 equals x1 so we are uh, so we are, we are going uh, vertically uh, so uh, if x2 equals x1 because then x1 prime is zero now when do we go uh, horizontally we go horizontally if uh, x2 prime equals zero but x2 prime equals minus 16 times x1 plus 15 times x2 so that is if x2 equals 16 over 15 x1 so then we go horizontally so what do we have to draw we have to draw this eigenvector that's why we stay there we can draw the line x1 equals x2 uh, because then we move up down and uh, we can uh, draw the line uh, x2 equals 16 over 15 x1 because then we move left right so that's what we have over here eigenvector stay if you are an eigenvector you stay there the, the lines where we move horizontally it's over here if uh, x2 equals 16 over 15 x1 this is slightly lower slope x2 equals x1 we uh, move up down that's over here and then we can uh, make the full picture as you see over here uh, here S suppose you start over here you move something like this uh, suppose we start say over here then you move like that so this is a way to get an idea uh, of the behavior of the solution of our differential equations because now we are able to make to draw the phase space